All right, so this is my painting jacket and there's something I wanted to do with it for a while now. And today's the day I'm gonna do it. You see, I've been wearing this jacket whenever I'm out painting during the colder month of the year. And I feel like I'm missing out on very valuable advertising real estate here. If you have a look at Smo's jacket, you can see that he put his name and his logo very prominently uh, onto the back of his jacket. I remember talking to him about how he has done it. Well, that's, that's a couple years ago and I have never done it. Um, today I want to do it though and we should probably make a game plan here. So I think my best course of action is to first take a photo of the jacket and put the logo on it digitally like kind of a mock-up to see what it would look like and play around with different dimensions and sizes and then actually cut the logo with my cutting plotter just to have a really nice uh, stencil I can stick on there that won't move and that won't cause any drips. I'll then place the stencil on the back of my jacket and would roll a layer or two of primer on it. Then I'm gonna spray paint through the stencil with my actual colors I want to use. Then I'm gonna put one layer of varnish up top and then once everything is dry I will carefully remove the stencil and hopefully reveal a beautiful logo with sharp edges and no drips on the back of my jacket. So this is what it's looking like. I think that's looking pretty sweet. So let's measure everything out on the on the jacket itself. Okay, so I'm measuring 35 centimeters from here. Um, the issue is with my plotter, I can only plot up to 30. So either I'm gonna make it a little smaller or I take the more complicated route and uh, cut it in different parts. Okay, got a piece of vinyl here, 31.5 by 31.5. So uh, I'm just gonna use that, cut on there and see, see how it turns out. Okay, so we want to use this stencil to spray right through it. So I really need to make sure I don't rip out the wrong parts. And I can already see I did cut a little bit too close to the edge of the uh, vinyl here. So I'm gonna have to repair that later on with tape. Let's get out the letters first. But it shouldn't be too hard because it's all one consistent there should have been a black bar up here it's not a big issue once I have placed it on my jacket I can just put uh, a stripe of tape up here and then we should be good to go okay I'm gonna put transfer foil on top of it now and then we are pretty much ready to transfer the graphic onto the jacket. So I think I'm gonna use this top seam here as kind of my marker. And there's also a seam here right in the center. So that's pretty, need for me to work at because this is the center of my logo i just have to put it right here i believe and that is pretty much center um, i'm gonna try put a little bit of tape first to put it in place i don't know if that will stick on here though could be enough I think I can really push it. I think I have to just lay it down carefully.
I'm going to put the stripe of tape up here as well. Now, the most important step should be to put a primer on here. I'm just going to use the regular uh, primer, primer clear coat combo I'm using for all my electricity box paintings. Uh, it's nothing special. Uh, that should really make the paint stick. Uh, I'm just gonna let it sit here. It feels kind of dry, but I'm just gonna let it sit here for a little longer and then I'm gonna apply the spray paint. Moment of truth. So that's it. I now do have a branded jacket myself. Um, I made a mistake though. I put the entire logo way too low. So it should have started up here. When I laid out the jacket on the floor, uh, the hood went way lower than it would actually sit when you wear it. So I've got this big gap and it feels a little bit feels a little bit imbalanced. I think the graphic itself turned out pretty nice. Not too many drips. Um, it just bothers me a bit that there's so much space up top here, but you know, nothing I can do about that now. I might put my website up top here or something. Um, we're gonna figure out in one of my next videos. So I'm gonna see you soon.